Hello everyone. Welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs where we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever a new video comes up you can be notified about the same. If you want the free PDFs of these sessions please do join our Telegram group the link is in the description below. Moving on to the first question now which says what is the theme of RBI's first global hackathon Harbinger? So recently RBI has organized this hackathon called Harbinger and they are asking us about the theme of this very hackathon. So let's first discuss what do we mean by a hackathon and then we'll come to this Harbinger thing. So talking about a hackathon. Hackathon kya hota hai? Ye ek tere se ek event hota hai jahan pe kisi problem ko pose kiya jata hai and uske related innovative solutions invite kiya jate hai. Log innovative solutions ke saath aate hai aur jo bhi solution best lagta hai that very solution wins that event and uh, the winner jo winner hai unhe phir usse related prize milta hai. So, what is this? What is this problem addressed by an event where the problem is posted and the innovative solutions are invited and the winner is awarded for the same. So, Hackathon is basically an event where numerous people come up together, a problem statement is posted and they come up with various innovative solutions to deal with that problem, to solve that problem. Whosoever comes up with the best solution is awarded for the same. The problem statement are worked upon by the participants who include your individuals, teams, entities from hardware, software, coding community during limited time period of hackathon. So usually the tech innovators are invited to come up with various solutions to solve the problems which are existing in any kind of a system. Okay, so talking about the modus operandi of a hackathon, kaise ha hackathon jo hai wo operate karte hai? So it's basically a competitive event. Ek tarah ka ye competition hai, jisme log participate karte hai. Where the participants submit their ideas and create solutions, exhibit prototypes and solutions are judged by the panel to arrive at the winner. So it's a competitive event where the problem is posed and then the solutions are invited. So people come up with different ideas, different solutions. Whichever solution is the best, they have to develop a prototype of that, a product model for that. And then the panel of judges decides which was the best solution to address that problem. And then that solution is rewarded. He, uh, the person who is the winner is awarded because it's a competitive event. The solutions are achieved are primarily technology driven innovative solutions zyada tar koi technology related solutions jab zarurat hoti hai kisi process ko improve karne ke liye un cases mein hackathon ka use kiya jata hai so let's see what is a harbinger harbinger is the hackathon which is owned and organized by rbi so rbi ne ek aisa competitive event organize kiya hai jahan ek problem pose ki gayi hai aur usse related innovative solutions mange gaye hain the hackathon organized by rbi is Harbinger 2021. Okay, so from in the very name we have RBI. So if the question comes that which regulatory has organized the first global hackathon Harbinger, so the answer is RBI. So what's the theme of this very hackathon? The theme is smarter digital payments. We have shifted a lot towards the digital payments, but there are still a lot of problems going on in this very area. There are frauds happening. Okay, then uh, many people are there who are still not shifting to the digital digital platforms. We have various issues associated with this, and in order to address that problem, this theme has been selected. And now the innovative solutions are invited to solve the problems associated with this sector. So this very um, hackathon will help in coming up with various innovative solutions which will develop the payment and settlement system in India. It will ensure more better accessibility, affordability of various digital servers, deal with the fraudulent practices and improve the overall payment system in India. So four problems are there which have been posed related to which the uh, innovative ideas are invited. Four problems are digital payments associated jinse related solutions ki yahan pe demand ki gayi hai is event mein so jo bhi participants hai wo in areas related solutions ke sath aayenge so what are the four problems related to which the people will uh, the participants will come up with the solutions 
फर्स्ट इज ऑल्टरनेट ऑथेंटिकेशन मेकेनिज्म so if we talk about the digital payments carried out right now we usually have a pin number we have the cvv which we put in and then we get the otp and the transaction gets processed so there were a lot of frauds going on with the otps okay because of which uh, now uh, this very event is organized and it is asking to come up with alternate authentication mechanism OTPs वगैरह के थ्रू ऑथेंटिकेशन होता है बट फ्रॉडलेंट मैसेजेस आते हैं गलत तरह से ओ टी पी शेयर होके लोगों का अकाउंट से पैसे निकले हैं एंड वेरियस गलत ट्रांजेक्शन जो हैं वो हुए हैं सो दिस वेरी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट से इज टू कम अप विद ऑल्टरनेट ऑथेंटिकेशन मैकेनिज्म कोई और तरीका ढूंढा जाए जिससे कि ये इशूज ना आए कोई नया ऑल्टरनेट ऑथेंटिकेशन मेकेनिज्म This is the first problem saying statement. So whosoever participant has some solution, innovative technology based solution related to this, they can come up with the same. Second problem statement is context based retail payment solution. So what's a context based retail payment solution? It's a solution where the there is no physical act of payment involved, where the there is no need of a physical interaction between customer and merchant to make a payment. आपको जब कोई पेमेंट्स करनी है तो फिजिकली इंटरेक्ट करने की जरूरत नहीं है एज अ कस्टमर फिजिकली आपको मर्चेंट से अट्रैक्ट करने की जरूरत नहीं है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से फास्ट ट्रैक ओके वेयर द टोल इज कलेक्टेड वाइल यू आर ट्रैवलिंग थ्रू द रोड वेज ओके सो देयर यू नाउ डोंट हैव टू स्टॉप यू हैव अ स्टिकर वेयर थ्रू द फास्ट ट्रैक बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन यू हैव फोटन द मनी एंड वाइल क्रॉसिंग दैट वेरी टोल बूथ योर मनी गेट्स डिडक्टेड सो यू डोंट हैव टू फिजिकली इंटरेक्ट नाउ so they are asking about some more such kinds of solutions where no physical interaction is needed and the payments can easily be made if you as a participant have some solutions for the this for this thing some technology based innovators if they have the solutions they can suggest the same to rbi under this very event moving ahead to the third problem statement that is non mobile digital payment solutions still there are a lot of people who are going on for the cash transactions they have not yet shifted to the mobile to the digital solutions even if we talk about in the rural areas people are not using digital means maybe because of lack of internet lack of smartphone so we have to come up with such digital solutions which can be uh, useful for them as well innovative easy to use non mobile digital payment solutions for converting small ticket cash transactions to digital mode jo chote mote transactions jo hum cash ke through karte hain wo bhi shift ho ke digital uh, systems log accept kare aise solutions yahan pe invite kiye gaye hain the fourth and the last problem statement is social media analysis tool social media analysis and the monitoring tool which will help deal with the problem of fraud which is causing the disruptions in the payment system so lot of frauds are happening cyber security is at threat so uh, they are also inviting the solutions to ensure proper protection of the customers so ye major char problems hai jisse related innovative solutions invite kiye gaye hain pehla alternate authentication mechanisms laaye jaye dusra without physical interaction kaise payments ho sake uske solutions laaye jaye teesra स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन के लिए कैसे लोग कैश से शिफ्ट होकर डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म एक्सेप्ट करें चौथा फ्रॉड वगैरह से डील करने के लिए प्रॉपर मॉनिटरिंग सोशल मीडिया एनालिसिस टूल्स रिलेटेड सोल्यूशन के साथ लोग आए सो दीज आर दोर प्रॉब्लम फॉर हु विच दी सोल्यूशन आर इन्वाइटेड ना वाई दिस इवेंट हैज बिन ऑर्गेनाइज बाई आर बी आई आर बी आई ने ये इवेंट क्यों ऑर्गेनाइज किया है in order to enhance the overall payment systems in india through this people will come up with solutions which will make your digital payments accessible to the underprivileged sections it will ensure more better ease of payments using the digital platforms it will ensure the security of digital transactions protect the consumers so if some new solutions are developed to target these areas then it will enhance the overall payment system in india is wajah se rbi ne is event ko organize kiya hai now talking about where to apply so the people who have some innovative solutions the tech innovators who have some solutions available they can apply it on this through this very link which has been provided by rbi so this hackathon is owned and sponsored by rbi right so this they have provided the link where online applications will be accepted sirf online hi aap apply kar sakte ho टॉकिंग अबाउट द ले आउट ऑफ द इवेंट ये इवेंट कैसे पूरा परफॉर्म होगा क्यों लोग इसमें पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे उनको कुछ फायदा होगा इसीलिए वो पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे तो जो भी विनर है जो भी रनर अप्स है उनको 
रिवॉर्ड किया जा रहा है इसलिए लोग पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे इस इवेंट में अगर उनके पास इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशंस हैं राइट सो व्हाट्स द इंटायर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस इवेंट व्हाई पीपल विल पार्टिसिपेट दे विल पार्टिसिपेट बिकॉज़ इफ दे विन दे विल बी रिवॉर्डेड फॉर द सेम सो हाउ दिस इवेंट इज गोइंग टू वर्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एप्लीकेशंस आर इनवाइटेड थ्रू द गिवन लिंक सो यूजिंग द लिंक यू कैन अप्लाई ऑन द पोर्टल secondly the hackathon will run in two phases the ideation phase and the solution development phase so in first phase the uh, solutions to different problems are invited different ideas are invited in fact okay ideas which can act as solution for any kind of problem they are invited then once the ideas will come uh, these ideas will be assessed and then the best ideas will be selected those best ideas will then have to work we we'll have to have to be worked upon the solutions need to be developed the products need to be developed and then they will be assessed by the judges and the person will be rewarded so pehle phase mein ideas invite kiye ja rahe hain un ideas ko select kiya jayega aur second phase mein fir unse related solutions develop kiye jayenge so rbi will shortlist the most promising solutions and rbi will also provide a technical and regulatory support so that demo able products can be created so once some ideas are selected then the product demo product needs to be developed okay so for that you might need some technical uh, technical support some regulatory support so rbi will provide you with that support all right the shortlisted candidates will then submit a working solution to decide the winners so jo bhi idea select honge fir unko uska solution banana hai demo enabled products banane hai jiske liye rbi technical or regulatory support dega jo bhi solution working solution ke sath aap aaoge unko check kiya jayega aur fir winner decide kiya jayega winners will be selected based on different criterias what was the problem what innovative solution you came up with that will be checked how comprehensive is your solution how easy it is to implement how you are demonstrating it how exp- uh, it will be beneficial for the users all those things will be assessed and then the final winner will be decided the winner will win a reward of 40 lakh and the runner up of 20 lakh so for all the problem statements one winner and one runner up will be there har problem statement ke liye ek winner aur ek runner up hoga to char problem statements hai inke liye char solutions uh, winner char solutions wala pers- jo charo solutions leke aayenge charo problems ke liye unko 40 40 lakh each reward kiya jayega aur jo runner ups honge jo next best solution ke sath aayenge unhe 20 lakh ka reward diya jayega har problem statement ke liye hai to char winners aur char runner ups honge overall this is all about the harbinger event coming back to our question now what's the theme of this event so the answer is option a smarter digital payments second question is also related to this which says which of the following is not a problem statement is not a problem statement to be addressed to solve the challenges in payment and settlement landscape under india's first global hackathon okay organized organized by rbi so first four are the problem statements we just discussed last one is not which says digital currency alternates for cryptocurrency is se related koi solution nahi manga gaya hai option e is the answer moving to the third question then and the next topic which says rbi has lifted restrictions on which global card network allowing it to enlist new customers after it demonstrated satisfactory compliance on storage of payment system data norms so we have discussed this things various times that different global card networks were basically restricted by rbi to enlist new customers why that's because they were not adhering to the storage of payment data system data norms rbi kuch norms leke aaya tha jis uh, system payment system data related ki jitni bhi payment system data hai wo india mein hi store ki jani chahiye और कई ऐसे कार्ड नेटवर्क से जिन्होंने उसको अधियर नहीं किया टाइमली इसके साथ कंप्लाइन नहीं किया और आर ने उन पर रिस्ट्रिक्शंस लगाए थे उनको नए कस्टमर्स एनलिस्ट करने का अलाउ नहीं किया गया था उससे रिलेटेड रिस्ट्रिक्शंस लगे थे इफ़ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस रिस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज ऑन वेरियस कार्ड नेटवर्क बिकॉज दे वर नॉट अधियरिंग टू द स्टोरेज ऑफ पेमेंट सिस्टम डेटा नॉर्म्स सो रिसेंटली वन ऑफ द कार्ड नेटवर्क हैज अधियर टू ऑल दोज नॉर्म्स एंड हैज दस Uh, and thus RBI has removed the restrictions on that very card network related to enlisting new customers which card network am i talking about it is diners club answer is option c so let's discuss this a bit RBI directed all payment system providers in 2018 
to ensure that their entire data on payment system is stored in India alone. जितनी भी payment system related data है वो India में ही store होनी चाहिए. And these payment system providers were to report the compliance and submit a board approved system audit report within specified timelines within six months and by twentieth. And by 15th October 2018, so these rules, regulations, को अधियर करने का time period भी दिया गया था. So what happened was on 23rd April, Diners Club and American Express were restricted from issuing new cards because they were not complying with these norms. ये दोनों card networks पे restrictions लगा दिए गए थे क्योंकि इन्होंने ये norms follow नहीं किए थे. After that, RBI also restricted Mastercard from onboarding new customers. So इन तीनों पे ही restrictions लगे थे. As of now, Diners Club has complied with all the rules and regulations, and these restrictions have been removed. On American Express and on Mastercard, these direct these restrictions are still there. Okay, so this was the update which I wanted to give you all. Moving on to the last question now, which says, what is the current settlement cycle followed by these stock exchanges in India? So if I talk about the settlement cycle. Suppose you are trading on a stock exchange. You are buying some securities. So those securities need to be transferred to you electronically on the DMAT account. If you are selling some securities, then the fund needs to be transferred in your account. Okay. So the time span within which this is done, that's a settlement cycle. Currently, the stock exchanges, the major stock exchanges in India, are following which settlement cycle? It is T plus two. Answer is option C. So if today a transaction is happening. Then within two days the settlement should take place. Just the securities खरीदी हैं उसको दो transaction के दो दिन के अंदर अंदर वो securities अपने DMAT account में मिल जानी चाहिए जिसने वो sell की है उसको उससे related पैसा जो है वो दो दिन के अंदर अंदर अपने account में मिल जाना चाहिए. That's the settlement cycle, the T plus two settlement cycle. Now why I'm discussing it? If you remember, the SEBI allowed the stock exchanges to go for a T plus one or a T plus two settlement. Cycle whichever they prefer. Now what is there in news? Now the stock exchanges have approved that they are going to follow T plus one cycle from next year onwards. So what's the update? The Indian stock exchanges have decided to implement T plus one settlement cycle in a phased manner from 25th February. So अभी तक हम T plus two settlement cycle follow करते हैं. अब कहा जा रहा है कि stock exchanges phased manner में T plus one का implementation करेंगे. That means if today a transaction is happening within one day, the settlement should take place. The buyer of stocks will receive the securities and the seller the funds in the bank account within one day after the trade. All right. एक साथ सारी securities पे ये implementation नहीं होगा. Phased manner में ये implementation होगा. The phase wise implementation will give market participants time to shift to the shorter cycle. This change will make India one of those first countries which will complete T plus one cycle by 2022. अगर ये implement हो जाता है तो India among first few countries बन जाएगी जो T plus one settlement में shift कर रही है. It's very difficult to shift all uh, shift all together to a smaller time period to a shorter time period basically. एक दिन के अंदर अंदर settlement करना मुश्किल हो जाता है. If you are able to succeed, that's a huge uh, thing uh, to be done for any country. Okay. So India के stock exchanges ने agree किया है कि phase manner में वो T plus one का settlement T plus one settlement को accept करेंगे. How there will be phase settlement? It will be based on the average market capitalization. Okay, for the month of October, based on which the stocks will be ranked. So based on the October month's average market capitalization, the stocks which are there listed on the stock exchanges they will be ranked in the descending order. Then out of those uh, stocks which have been ranked. The bottom hundred will be the first few stocks where T plus one settlement will be introduced from Feb onwards. So, पहले जो bottom hundred stocks हैं जो market capitalization के basis पे October के descending order में arranged हैं उसमें से bottom hundred stocks जो हैं उनपे T plus one settlement लगेगा 25 Feb onwards. उसके बाद क्या होगा? After that from March onwards, on every last Friday, on the last Friday of every month. Next bottom 500 stocks will be available for T plus one settlement. So, उसके बाद March onwards हर month के last Friday में जो next bottom 500 stocks होंगे उन पे T plus one settlement लगेगा. ऐसे कर कर के phase manner में gradually सारी securities पे धीरे-धीरे करके ये T plus one settlement applicable हो जाएगा. Gradually this T plus one settlement will get applicable on remaining stocks over time. 
so this is what i wanted to discuss in, to, in today's session with this i would like to end up this session i hope it was useful thank you so much